fellow defenders absorbed a hell of a lot of pressure against Adelaide. Can you continue to do that? Um, oh, you know, we, we, can, we can look at this game and, and take a bit of confidence out of this. And um, We were under the pump on the weekend, but uh, the way we fought against the Adelaide um, mids, you know, delivering the ball into their forwards, uh, you know, you know, we, can, we can look at it as a positive. And, um, and I, know, I know there's been games that uh, we've been under the pump, but um, to keep them to the score that they, they got on the weekend with the amount of en entries they got, um, which is it's, it's good for us. So um, you know, we, we had our line meeting this morning and we had a lot of positives come out of that. And you know, all we can do is um, move on. And um, We spoke about Luke McFarlane earlier on. Can you give us any <coughs> indication on how he's travelling? Oh, he's just on track. Um, he's again, he's a couple of weeks away, and um, everything's going well for Luke. And but you don't want to rush him back because you know, he's, he's a key key player for um, key per player for our team. And so, uh, yeah, we'll we'll make sure he's he's right before he gets back out on the track. And Hayden Valentine seemed to be moving pretty freely this morning. Yeah, it's good to see um, Hayden out there, and um, he's he's a guy that will be in contention this week. So. Uh, you know, he's he's got to get through training um, in, on Thursday, and um, you know, hopefully he can get up. Through Michael experience, Carlton's small forwards, they present a different challenge. So so quick, and if they get goals tied here, then basically it, it can be all over. Yeah, for sure. Um, they they have been in good form in the last couple of weeks, um, and you know we'll we'll have a game plan that will. Um, and the players that will play on them, and um, they'll have important jobs against the, the small, quick players in, in the Carlton side. And um, we know that um, you know they got the pace, they have got the skill, they love to get out the back. So we'll, we'll have a we'll have a plan to um, you know, match them, and, and hopefully we can come away with it. Is that a case of trying <coughs> to keep them up the ground, stay goal side of them, and sort of push them away from goals and make them come back faster? Yeah, oh, oh, that's that's against every team. You know, you know, you don't want. You want to give goal side um, against any any forward, so uh, we'll you know best defence is to uh, you know keep him in front of you and, and body and check him and um, and is, is very important this week against the the quicker quicker players. It's different though, isn't it, this week because they've got that two or three. Who's would be your quickest defender? Who, who's likely to get say Garland or it is Jaron or Eddie or whatever? Um, we'll have a number of players that will play. You know, we'll have Lee Spur. We'll have a big job on someone. Um, Clancy Pierce has played on a quick, a few quick players before, um, and you know, might have to uh, bring back uh, Hilly. What do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> Can you say a positive in the absence of Luke McFarlane for your defence after what happened last year, late in the season? Um, can it only be a good thing, uh, although you'd want him in the team, but can it be a good learning experience for the defence? Oh yeah, for sure. You know, Luke's, Luke's getting on. Um, he's getting older now and um, you know, who knows, he, he might have a couple more years in him. So then you know, we have to um, you know, get players that can play um, the role that Luke, Luke does each week, week in, week out. So, uh, you know, when, so when he does leave, we, we've got players that can come straight in and, and, and play their role. So. Um, you know, we do wish he was out there uh, playing with us, but um, you know, that's football with injuries and that. So, um, but you know, like I said, Dawson's playing playing really good footy at the moment, and he had a really big job on the weekend on Jenkins and the week before on Rewalt. So uh, he's he's kept them on to low low scores, and um, you know, all we can do is just you know keep doing our doing doing our thing down there. The media and the fans would be looking at the run home and saying top fours. A realistic, really good chance for Frio. How important is it to finish top four if you want to actually be there in the last Saturday? Oh, yeah, every team wants to be in top four, and um, but we know that uh, you know, week you know, every every week is important for us, and you know starts this week against Carlton, and, um, and we'll we'll fly back and and then get ready for the weekend after. But uh, it's all about this week and uh, the four points, and and hopefully we can bring them back. There's been a lot of spoken about it, just the 33 inside 50s, everybody need to get the win on the weekend. Um, as a team, are you, are you wanting to be a little bit more attacking as you start to approach the finals? Oh yeah, for sure. You know, you you don't you don't want to um, go out there um, not scoring goals. You know, it's goals win your matches. So um, 
it's good to have a number of goal scorers that can pop up week in, week out, and Fifey's you know, come from the midfield kicking goals. So uh, you know, we need a few more boys chipping in, and um, you know, that's you know, players in the back line, forward stepping up. So uh, you know, we, we go out there wanting to um, kick a big score, but um, you know, um, if, it's, if it's a low score and we get the four points, it's, you know, we're happy with that. For someone like Hayden Valentine maybe coming back in this week, he just gives that other option, doesn't he? Oh yeah, for sure. He's 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 a leader down there, and um, sort of frees up Michael Walters a bit as well. So uh, to have them running around in the four line, it's um, yeah, I'll, I'll hate to play against them. Did Sunson and Piercy tell you they were going to go up to Bell at the Did you know? Are you ready? I had no clue. I I was in the back line, walking back, uh, trying to find my man, and my man ended up. Starting in the, um, the centre bounce, I looked around and there's a big, um, big melee happening. But uh, yeah, I was just waiting for uh, my player to spit out after the free kick. So <laughs> yeah. we're, we're all wondering whether they were acting under instructions. Oh no, no, I, I wasn't. Yeah, I didn't know what was happening. I, I was. I turned around and you could see myself and um, Ibo talking and wondering what was happening. And and then the free kick was given, and then I was. I was just waiting for my my man to spit out. And uh, yeah, it was, yeah. It was old fashioned footy, wasn't it? Uh, oh, yeah, for sure. And, yeah. But in that sense, did it disrupt you? Because it was a bit sort of strange. No, no I wasn't, really, yeah, know. I wasn't ready for it. So, um, yeah, like I said, I was, I was just you know, looking around, waiting for someone to spit out. And uh, so I didn't know what was happening. But, um, I think they scored the first goal or scored, um, you know, got in the first, uh, had the first inside 50. So he was on for the first five minutes there. but. Um, Correct to the boys, we, we got back on the horse and um, yeah, finished the quarter. The boys home. say why they did it, though? They mentioned to you? No, I haven't, no, I haven't spoken to them. Uh, I'll have a yarn with them later, right? Eh? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> no, those type of boys, though, because you know, um, from the outside, we don't see them fighting a lot or creating. Uh, well, Sonny's got a bit of aggression behind him, but uh, yeah, I, I'm unsure um, what they were thinking there, but um, I guess they were st sticking up for. Uh, I think Van Burlo usually tags, so I guess they were um, sticking up for um, Hilly, oh. one of their teammates. Are those sorts of fines something that the team will, you know, they're happy to pay every now and again, just to show that you've got that sort of toughness or hard edge to the side? So, what do you mean, the club? Yeah, well, the players, you know, you're oh, not going to let other teams oh, sort of. It's, um, you, know, you don't want to go out there and, and, and cop a fine for a, you know, a little wrestle, you know. Um, so you got to be smart, smart about it. But um, you know, if if little little scruffle here and there, it doesn't uh, hurt anyone. So it's good.